I have found my purpose and my calling and I had no idea until the intensive that this was my purpose or my calling. If you get lit up by it and you get excited by it, just do it. Just do it. So hell yeah, do it. Sign up right now. You have to do this right now. Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Can I get an amen for beautiful days? Now, before I go into the questions for today's video, I would love if you could please like, share, and comment on this video. It helps me in the algorithm. It helps me to reach more people. And in this way, you're helping what we're doing on this channel. So thank you so very much in advance. I also want you to know that we have a little banner here that says textcac.com. If you go to textcac.com, CAC stands for Crystal Ann Compton, you will see a number and you can text it and you and I can stay connected. I really love this because it allows us to speak to one another directly without the noise and the algorithms and all the craziness of different social media platforms. So if you're interested in staying connected to me and what I am doing and when I am doing it, then go to textcac.com and join me there. Also, I wanted to share that I'm on Instagram. I am Chris Ann Compton, not Crystal Ann Compton but Chris Ann Compton on Instagram. And I, uh, up until recently, you know, I posted there from time to time with some pictures, but I'm starting to get more active and involved there because I know a lot of you hip people are on Instagram and I want to connect with you. So if you're on Instagram, please go to Chris Ann Compton and follow me. I would love that so very much. Wherever we can encounter one another, wherever I can read your comments and comment back, I'm digging it. And the last link I'm going to put up for you is this link and this actually speaks to the first question that i have and this comes from oh that covers me entirely sorry guys but this comes from melody little wolf shaleen sheline shaleen she asks i'm wondering if you will be doing the intuitive intensive program this year i'm very interested in that one if that is right for me i just know things at times and i'm not really sure how well guess what melody the how of it is because you're intuitive. And of course you are. You are a human being. And all human beings have access to intuition and have their own personal psychic system and navigation system. It's just about turning it on, honey. And it's just about keeping it on so it can lead you and direct you in the ways that you should go. This includes the magical and the miraculous, but also the mundane. And if you ask me, my intuition plays so much more into my mundane life and how I'm choosing relationships and making investments and going forward on projects and even some of the spiritual stuff. So if you're interested, Melody, in blasting open your psychic abilities and connecting, by the way, with dozens of other students who are on the same path and holding the same space, then go to this link right here, learn.lightworkerslab.com slash 2021ii. Link also in the description and check out the program. We go through week by week what we learn. It is 12 weeks of togetherness with spirit. It's 12 weeks, a whole season that we spend together, you, me, Trisha, and all the other students and the facilitators. And oh boy, is it a lot of fun. We start on January 18th. And by the way, in December, we are offering a deep discount. So if you are interested in joining, now is the time. Go to that link, check it out. And I hope to see you in the program. All right. Let me turn this off now. Let me leave that one up because if you guys want to text me, I want to receive it. I want to go now to our primary question for this video. And this comes from, actually, I have to read it over here because that's so tiny for me. Okay. Eyes. Can't see it. This comes from Heidi Klein. Heidi Klein says, hi, Crystal. I do have a few questions and I'd like to see this appear as a screenshot on your channel. Here you are. As a psychic medium, I have encountered both the negative and the positive realms, and I wrote about it in my book, The Unwanted Twins. Cool. I would like to focus on the positive, but I cannot ignore the other side, the negative realms. My question is, do you believe in both realms? Do I believe that they exist? If so, have you seen both sides? And why do most psychic mediums refuse to admit both sides? Thank you for looking, thank you, looking forward to seeing your answers. Okay. 
Let me take it off here. I have it here. First of all, congratulations on your book. That's awesome. I'm in the process of writing a book right now called Channeling Angels. And let me tell you, it's taken me a couple of years. It's a big deal. So good on you. Called The Unwanted Twins. There's a plug from the Crystal Ann Compton channel. Now, okay, I'm going to... Go to stick to stick. I'm going to go jump to the second part. I'm going to go back to something I noticed in the first paragraph in a moment. But you said, asked, do I believe both realms exist? And I would say, yes, absolutely, of course. And I believe in polarities. I believe in a spectrum of energy. I believe in a spectrum of humanity. I believe in a spectrum of consciousness. And I believe there's a spectrum in the spirit world, meaning there is one side of the spectrum that is the light. Let's just say that's very simplistic, but what are you going to do? There is the light on one side of the spectrum. And then we arc all the way over to the other side. And there is what we would call the dark. And that sounds like a judgment, but it's not. It's just talking about proximity, being away from or far away from the frequency or the signature of the light, which is source energy, which is God energy. And then there are all of the beings that occupy the middle part of that spectrum. So we can call this darkness and light. We can call this love and non-love. We can call this um, uh, subtle energy versus denser energy. We can call it all kinds of things, but this polarity does exist. And I think any person who is actively working on their spirituality and their consciousness and upgrading themselves, vibrationally speaking, has a sense that there are these different beings that occupy the space and that there are negative entities. For sure, there are negative entities. Have I personally encountered them? Oh, you best believe I have. I've definitely encountered negative entities and I have since the time that I was a child. Now, of course, as a child, I did not know how to manage that and I was not aware of my dominion. Now, I did have psychic parents and therefore when I went to my psychic parents, they were able to equip me somewhat. But if you've been around this uh, channel for very long, you already know my parents were addicts and kooky and it was like very dysfunctional so I didn't get all the tutoring I needed in the world of spirit I had to come into that on my own I did not understand how empowered I was even amidst the chaos or how I was the light even amidst a space of darkness and therefore in the beginning when I was a child these negative realms could spook me you know I spent a lot of time as a child with my blanket over my head how about you guys any of you guys or children and mediums, or children who could see energy, or children who heard voices. That's a lot of us. And back then, it was scary. Do I still see the negative realms? Sometimes, and I've spoken about this, sometimes I've had entities that seek to try it. Okay. They seek to roll up on me. Now, this hasn't happened in quite some time. The last time was about two years ago when I first moved into this house, and there's a lot of wonky energy here. And there was a recent deceased family member. And I had an encounter with a class of being called a shadow being or a shadow person. And that was extremely uh, frightening for a moment, for a moment, because with me, I don't know about you guys who encounter some of these scarier things with me. It's about the element of surprise, because if I know it's going to happen, I very quickly get into my dominion. I very quickly get into the power of my divinity and nothing can touch this at all. But if you catch me unawares, okay, if I'm bopping around my house or if I'm sleeping or if I'm if I'm just not expecting it, well, then of course I'm human. You can startle me. And so I did have a negative experience a couple of years ago, but I very quickly got into alignment. I very quickly in my discernment understood what was happening and got into the I am of it all. I am that I am is what I am and very quickly made that shadow being leave. And I will tell you out of all the entities that I have encountered, the shadow being is the most potently terrifying, hands down a real shadow being, not a ghost, okay, not a earthbound, not an apparition trying to manifest or materialize, but a legit shadow being is the most deeply terrifying because that's the nature of their signature. They are a different class of being. And I think many times this could also be called a demonic. And so, yeah, I've had experience with this. Does it shape who I am? Do I avoid the world of spirit because I know negative realms exist? Absolutely not. Why? Why? 
because I am the consciousness having the experience. Therefore, I am the consciousness in control of this experience. And you're coming up into my house. You're coming up into my dream. You're coming into my awareness. And I make the call as to who gets to do that. In 3D reality, I make that call. And in 4D and all Ds and out of this universe, I make that call. I am. So all this is to say, yes, I've experienced both. I choose to point my interest at that which grows my mind and my heart. Think on these things that are lovely, of good report. Think on these things that build you and feed you. I don't point my interest at the negative. Therefore, it doesn't really populate my life. That's my answer. You also asked, why do most psychic mediums refuse to admit both sides. Well, I don't really know what psychic mediums you are encountering, but I happen to train mediums and also psychics. And any medium I train understands that there is shadow and there is light and there is the dance of consciousness between the both and how to navigate these. I've really never met a psychic medium that denies the negative realms. Maybe you're meeting psychic mediums who, like me, choose to point their interest primarily at that which feeds the soul. And therefore, I, I don't have the time of day to be spending reading about demonology or reading about fearful things. Like, that's just not how I connect myself. And I think a lot of spiritual people are similar. So I'm not sure why most psychic mediums that you know do that. All the psychic mediums that I know acknowledge shadow, acknowledge the spectrum that we are speaking about here now. What I want to move on to is the first paragraph once again, after you mention your book, you say, I would like to focus on the positive. You, Heidi Klein, would like to focus on the positive, but I cannot ignore the other side, the negative realms. Why? I'm wondering why you can't ignore the other side. And so that might be an issue of experience, not your experience as a psychic medium, like the experience you're having in your life. And the fact that it's showing up. Now, I'm not sure if this is showing up in the scope of your readings. You've got negative stuff coming through for your clients or within the course of a session, or whether this is an experience that you are having in your space, in your experience. Um, so it would really, really depend. But you're talking about focus here. <laughs> I just want to bring it up one more time. Focus is so important. Focus, this is your attention. Your attention is your consciousness. Your attention is your intention. Attention, intention. If you're paying attention to it and you're focusing on it, you grow it. Where your attention flows, the energy grows. I got that from Oprah, I think, okay? And it's true. And so if your focus is on the negative realms to the exclusion of your positive experience, then yes, you're going to have encounters in this negative side of the spectrum. It is a matter of where you are pointing your interest. And also the question of why do you have a focus and or interest in this negative aspect? What is that connected to inside of you? Not that it's a problem, but there might be something inside of you that causes you to focus on some of these other aspects. And so this is a you thing. It really is. This is a you thing. It is in your experience, because these things happen spontaneously and randomly, we can encounter some weird shite out there. But it also definitely happens if the focus is on it and if the interest is on it and if we're paying attention to it are we talking about it what are you feeling your mind with as well and this is for everybody not just you Heidi like what are we filling our mind with are we spending our time watching a bunch of scary movies and horror movies are we watching a bunch of low brow reality television where people are beefing and fighting and cursing each other out like where are we giving our consciousness what are we pointing it to because whatever we're pointing it to causes it to grow in the life. And so again, I don't, I'm not blaming you, nor am I reading you for that matter. I'm speaking to all of us through you. So thank you for that. But it is about what you're focusing on. And let me say, once again, there is no judgment about the dark. There is no judgment about the negative. 
It is a question of how do we want to have this experience in our life? And what do we want to do with this? If something is hampering or diminishing my light, my shine, my love, my joy, or my power, I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at it and talking about it and gossiping about it and getting freaked out about it. No, I pivot intentionally toward that which feeds my soul. And this becomes big, therefore. And this grows in the life. And when it grows, it, it has an opportunity to become out pictured in the material reality. If all I focus on is that which is lovely, that which is good and of good report, then that's what I grow in my life. And that's what I experience in my life. And the negative realms don't bother me. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Talk about a spiritual gangster. Just walking through his life. Oh, you're a man addled with demons. Let me cast those out into the herd of swine. And then let's keep it moving. Oh, there's a storm outside and we might capsize. Let me very quickly bring a peaceful sky. Oh, these folks need food. Let me manifest some loaves and fishes. This was just incidental to him. He commanded it. He was the consciousness having that experience. Therefore, he controlled it and he knew it. Talk about an avatar who embodied, who embodied what he taught. He embodied what he believed and he pointed his interest at those things. Now, does that mean Jesus as the man was never negative? Mm -mm. No, Jesus got mad. He got mad at his own mom. Jesus wept. That's not negative, but Jesus had these human experiences that we would call lower or hard or challenging, but he always made a point to turn his attention back to that which was divine, his mission, his healing, his love, and therefore continued to move in the miracles of it all. Neville Goddard talks about this. Yes, we have lower vibrational feelings and we have experiences in negative realms, but do not indulge these. Do not indulge these. That is where we err. When we indulge them, we create more of it. And so feel the sadness. It's okay. Notice the negativity. That's all right. You're human and you have senses, but then pivot away and point your attention and indeed your consciousness at that which you want to grow in your life. Now, I went off on a whole thing. <laughs> I don't know if I helped you, um, but I, I really felt like the focus, the word focus was what spirit wanted to talk about today in this video for us all. What are you focusing on? Is it your problems? Is it your pain? Is it your issues? What is it? And what ought you be focusing on? Is there something in your life that is loving, that is of good report, meaning good news, makes you happy? Is there something that gives you peace? Is there something that makes you feel motivated and inspired? Like, what are you focusing on? This is up to you as the consciousness having this experience. Can I get an amen? And on that note, thanks for joining me here today in this video. I have fun talking to you. I like to talk to you. And if you guys have questions, I want to answer them. Now, don't ask them under this post. I probably won't see them. I will make another post probably at the beginning of 2021 asking for your questions so we can continue to answer them into the following year. But for now, just know, please know that I have got nothing but love for you. Bye, guys.